This is an EA to EJ motor adapter that allows using a modern engine like this EJ engine in a old Subaru Loyale. This adapter's got a problem. The dowel pin holes are not located precisely enough, and in fact they're so far off that the dowel pin could not be used on the transmission side when this engine was installed. So we're going to make a new adapter out of aluminum right here in our garage. We've got a design and we've got just enough tools to do this without a CNC milling machine. We made a full-size printout of the design and we put it right on the engine to make sure we're in the ballpark. Now that we're satisfied with the design, we've put another full-size copy of the plan right on the plate to center punch the dowel pin holes precisely. We're using a larger punch to enlarge the dimples. We double check the distances between the center punch marks and we're ready to start drilling. We're going to drill a series of progressively larger holes so the first holes are very small. We put drill bits in the holes upside down and measure the distances between the near and far edges. Then we take the average to find the distance between the centers of the holes so we know how far off we are. For each hole, we use a centering bit to start a new larger hole in a location adjusted for the error in the previous drilling. And then drill a bigger hole all the way through. This center finder helps us get the drill press lined up relative to the holes we drilled. Then measure again, then adjust the position of the holes again. Now that we've got larger holes, we're using end mills to scrape away the sides of the holes in the direction we want to move them. We repeat this process of measuring our error, milling the sides of the holes to compensate for the error, and then drilling larger. We use a tapered step bit to transition from one size hole to the next so that the larger drill bit stays centered in the hole. The holes are close to their final diameter now, so we switch to using an adjustable reamer that we set up to make the holes the same size as the dowel pins. We're using a spring-loaded tap guide to keep the reamer perfectly perpendicular. We've completed the first stage of making this adapter, which is to drill these locating holes that receive dowel pins. Those are the most critical holes, so we did them first. That way, if there was a mistake, we could just move over on this material and start over. Using this technique, we were able to locate these holes within four thousandths of an inch, which is pretty good. To give you an idea of how good that is, there's the thickness of a piece of paper. It's four thousandths. Now we drill the bolt and stud holes. We do it carefully, but they don't need to be precise. Some of the holes are threaded, 
and later we'll put studs into them. To cut the perimeter, we're using a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade. The jigsaw leaves a pretty rough cut, so we left a little extra material to sand off. Let's see how well those dowel pins in the engine line up to the holes we made in this adapter. Let's see how well we did on the transmission side. The engine normally bolts up with 10 millimeter threaded holes. We want to pass a 10 millimeter stud through these holes, so we'll drill them out. The old adapter used smaller studs here. We're using JV Weld epoxy to secure the studs in the threaded holes in the adapter. The mounting holes in the transmission are not perfectly perpendicular, so we wrap the studs with tape and leave the adapter on the transmission overnight while the glue cures. That way the studs will end up perfectly centered in the holes. It's time to do the final installation of the adapter onto the motor. The adapter is secured to the motor with two nuts.
to adapt this EA flywheel to the EJ engine, the holes have been re-drilled. And I'll zoom in here so you can see the diameter is different and also the spacing is different. Let's pop this motor back in. Thanks for watching.